What's going on everyone? So guys, I just want to kind of fill you in on this video before you guys watch this video. Basically going to be my review of taking my truck to the dealership where I purchased my truck from. And you know, I basically the service was for oil change. Let's just say it got, <laughs> it got confusing. <laughs> it got confusing. So you're going to have to watch this video to find out what happened. This will be the first, the very first time since I purchased this Toyota Tundra. The very first time, guys, for oil change. We are at 53,000 miles on this truck. And um, I don't know what oil the previous owner had used. I wasn't able to really communicate to the previous owner because I purchased the truck from um, the dealership. I'm getting my, you know, so it went through its government type of uh, inspections. You have a reliable and trusted uh, dealer. They're going to follow the procedure uh, as possible. So you know that the vehicle that you're going to purchase uh, it will definitely indeed be certified. And indeed, you know, Toyota, they have their certified used vehicles uh, in which this Toyota Tundra is one of those certified vehicles. So guys, this is going to be the day oil will be changed. I really don't know what oil the previous owner had used, but I am going to go with my trusted friend, AKA Royal Purple. That's the oil that I'm going to put in my truck. I've been running Royal Purple since I had a 1999 Land Cruiser, as well as Royal Purple and my uh, Lexus IS 250 and it has not failed me. So, you know, why change brands where, you know, the brand that you chose is working fine. So we are on our way. We are traveling to our dealership. Well, not to our dealership, but I'm traveling to the dealership. Uh, so that way we can get our first oil change. Speaking of Tundras, Tell me, man, this, this route has been nothing but tundra. <laughs> I tell you, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful feeling, too, uh, to see another tundra on the road. They even uh, washed and cleaned the truck. So, it only cost me $25 for oil change at my dealership. 25 bucks. Now, that's given that I actually provided the oil. This is Royal Purple is because in my Toyotas, before this truck I had the Land Cruiser, ran Royal Purple with 300K miles joint. That Land Cruiser drove and ran as it was fresh off the showroom. I expect the same results with this bad boy here. So right now all I'm doing is just looking at the, uh, make sure those washers are in my, on an underpan. Yep, I see it. Right there. It took the dealer roughly an hour to get those things back on. I'm not even lying, an hour. Plan on doing it is to eventually see if I can get something like JB Weld and put around those washers. Cause I don't anticipate in raising this truck up even more. Um, just three inch uh, is perfect for me. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do guys is try to use something to secure those washers, those extended washers to the oil pan. So people that are familiar with trucks, it's very common that people purchase spacer lifts for their vehicles because, you know, especially if you're just doing your typical on road type of driving slash, you know, mall cruiser, that's what people call it. But me, this is just a day to day, uh, daily workhorse truck. So it doesn't really go off road. So a spacer lift kit is 
it's, 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 it will work because again, I don't take this truck off-road because we don't have any off-roads. It's all it's just straight. With the spacer kits, you know, they have on that skid plate, it has these extended washers that are a pain to put back on. So what I may be doing is putting the JB Weld uh, in those actual uh, extended washers. But anyhow, guys, I'm about to head on down the road. Uh, so far, the truck runs good. There's no point in me saying so far the truck is run good because it's always running good. It's a Toyota Tundra. Got my Ravens flag shining. So guys, to be honest, I was pretty shocked, absolutely shocked when the serviceman told me $25 for your oil change. In the past, uh, when I had my Toyota Land Cruiser, I would take it to a um you know one of those uh i guess you could say private auto shops even though i provided my own oil oil filter still that private shop charged me roughly i want to say it was probably close to 50 dollars for oil change 50 or 55 dollars for oil change and given you know i was there for roughly what i had my appointment at one um, 1 p.m. I'm just leaving and it's 4 so given the fact that they probably didn't see my vehicle because they had other vehicles in front of me until about I want to say roughly probably 250 or 3 3 ish so it probably you know took them about 40 minutes or so no it's it, it, no no it's gotta be more than that it's gotta be more than that but it came to that skid plate to get that bad boy reinstalled um one of the service service members had stated that it's three mechanics <laughs> underneath your truck <laughs> trying to get that skid plate back on. So, you know, I was thinking I was having a hard time getting that skid plate on when I did the body lift. Um, but no, um, it took three mechanics to get that skid plate back on. So, you know, it's something that I'm considering that with those extended washes that's on the skid plate, uh, that potentially I may try to get some JB Weld to hold those washers in there so that way in the event that I need to take the skid plate down I can just unscrew it and the washers can the extended washers will still be on there you know hey right, guys I'm very quite confused this is my oil filter okay Close that. I'm going to assume the dealership used their own parts. All right. And this feels like it's filled up. Uh, that hasn't been open. That's too tight. Let's go to this one. That's too tight, too. So what the heck? Did they use their own oil? They had to use their own oil, because look at that. You can see it is in there. It's to the brim. So... All right, what the hell did they do to the truck since they said that they did an oil change? So I'm gonna uh, pop the hood and see how much oil we got there. Because if they charged me $25 for oil change and they use their own oil, they shooting myself in the foot. Let me see if we got oil in this truck. Yeah, look at that. That is clean oil so they did change it but they used their oil ah oh, man well you guys <laughs> you see the video it's it's confusing it's confusing to me take 
my truck to the dealership to get the oil changed, the oil filter change included. And let's just say uh, the dealership says that they use they use their uh, their own oil. <laughs> they say it's fully synthetic, but you know, you know how that goes. It was not what I expected. I I expected that when I would take my truck to the dealership, that I would get the oil change using the oil that I brought to the actual dealership. However, you know, I guess that dealership, they may be accustomed to using their own products, uh, including oil, filters, stuff of that nature. So I can, uh, I can understand where the confusion may have come. Scratch all that. You know what? Scratch that. What am I thinking? It's not that uncommon that somebody will actually go to a shop and say, Hey, I want you to use my oil and oil filter. That's not that uncommon. So what am I thinking? I'm trying to make an excuse for them. <laughs> I was trying to make an excuse for you guys, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I just don't understand. But either, either other way. They changed the oil, so I definitely appreciate that. Uh, there was some misconfusion, uh, you know, as far as the oil change job. I understand things happen. No one's perfect. I'm not blaming them. I'm not trying to, you know, talk down about the, the dealership because the dealership that I got my truck from, they are absolutely amazing. Um, my uh, colleague, co-worker, good friend, uh, my buddy, he also got some vehicles from that dealership too. So they're a really, really, really good dealership. So more power to them. And honestly, if I need to change my oil during a time when there's like a rainstorm, snowstorm, you know, something that makes it kind of unbearable, not unbearable, because I mean, I've, I've changed oil in the rain before, but you know, if I don't want to change the oil in the rain or freezing snow or sleet, ice, whatever, uh, I will definitely go back to the dealership and use them, you know, to actually do the oil service. I'll definitely do that. But this time I will actually, I'll leave everything on the driver's side seat so that way it's obvious that when I, uh, you know, the mechanic goes in to get my vehicle, they'll be like, oh, I can't even drive. I got, got oil stuff here. Got, you know, oil filter here too. You know, let me move the stuff out the way. And it's obvious that he put it here so that way, you know, make sure that I change the oil you're using this product. You know, because that's what I'm saying. You know, something of that nature. But, you know, I don't want this video to be like one of those videos of never go to the dealership for oil change or, oh my gosh. This dealership did me dirty. No, nah, it's not a video like that. As I stated before, we're all human. We make mistakes, okay? So, and we get confused at times, all right? It is what it is, you know? This was a very quite <laughs> interesting video. But at least to say, the next video coming up was actually gonna be a video of me changing the oil on my truck, uh, which I basically show you the steps that I take for changing oil on a lifted tundra. Uh, because with the lifted tundras, you got the spacers uh, that's, that needs to be uh, inserted on the actual. Golly, why why do I, I, I continue to forget the name of this thing? Undercarriage, undercover, something of that nation. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Absolutely will love and appreciate you. Subscribe. Mm. Come on, hit that two step with me, guys. Hit that two step with me. Mm. 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 Y'all gotta hit that two step, baby. Peace, guys.